DVD era TV back at y'all with another one. Today we go talk about the time ODB peed on LL Cool J platinum plaque. Now let's get into it. Mixtapes and DVDs is my era. Facts. We did it better. Yep. Pelly Pelly Leathers, Facts. ACG Boots. Uh. We 80s babies Ooh. in early 90s when it got grimy. I was out of this world, you could not find me. Unless you checked the lobby, hustling was my hobby. Damn. We was lobby boys yep. before Jim Jones. You could catch me at Harlem eating Jim Bones. Now in the VCR era. ODB was a wild boy. <laughs> he was one of the most popular members of the Wu, but he mostly was known for his antics. In 1995, ODB was on MTV where he was riding in a limo where he went to pick up food stamps and a $375 welfare check. In 1998, when the Wu lost their Grammy to Diddy, ODB crashed the stage saying, When it comes to the children, Wu-Tang is for the children. We teach the children. You know what I mean? Puffy is good, but Wu-Tang is the best. I had to cut the audio short, but y'all get the point. Now, over the years, ODB will be known to do some crazy things. Now, one of the crazy things he supposedly did was peed on LL Cool J's platinum plaque. Now, it's said that LL Cool J wanted to work with ODB, so he invited him to a session at a studio. And when ODB got there, either he was mad about LL not being there because LL never showed up to the um session or he didn't like the beat or whatever it was. Maybe he was on one that day. He got mad. He got up. He went to the lobby, grabbed um, LL plaque, threw it down and peed on it. Now, I'm going to read an article that gives more detail of what happened. Now, this is an article from Boombox.com and this is Dante Ross explaining what happened. He said, I get a call from Chris Lighty, who's managing LL Cool J at the time. And he says he want to put your man Old Dirty on a song with LL. LL really feels him, Ross explains. So I get Dirty there. He shows up with a guy named Crazy Sam. We start trying to get him to rap on a song. He's not doing it. He's listening to the beat. He's wasting time. Finally, Chris is like, yo, man, what are we doing here? ODB goes, yo, LL want me to rap on a song? F a LL. Chris is like, excuse me? ODB's like, F a LL. Then walks off to the lobby of Chung King Studio and takes LL Platinum Record off the wall, throws it on the ground, and he's like, I'll piss on the LL. Though Ross attempted to intervene, Dirty had his own agenda. Chris Lighty like, yo, enough is enough. The session is over. Forget it already. Get out the room. Dirty goes to pull his thing out and pee on LL record. He's like, I'm going to pee on the LL. He's kicking me out his session. LL's not even there. He has no idea what's going on. Chris Lighty and his man started reaching like they were going to pull something out. Dirty and me in the middle. And Dirty trying to pull his wiener out to pee on the LL record. Luckily for Ross, he was able to calm down Lighty, whose management firm, Violator, represents some of the industry's biggest artists, including Diddy, Mariah Carey, and 50 Cent. Unfortunately, things did not work out so well for the plaque. I walk upstairs and Dirty is there. Real talk. Dirty had peed on LL record. That was the real deal. Old Dirty Bastards and LL Cool J great collaboration never came off because Dirty was out of his mind that day. The ill part is the plaque is still hanging on the wall at Chung King's forever besmirched by the dirt dog. R.I.P. They said ODB might have been sniffing something. He pulled up to the studio with his homeboy crazy saying ODB used to be wilding back then. You know what I mean? Definitely Brooklyn's finest. So salute and R.I.P. to him. Now also I just dropped the Maserati Fox video. It's DVD footage of him freestyling and talking his talk. Go check that out. Run it up. If y'all want me to do a mini documentary on Maserati Fox, let me know in the comment section. But anyway, like, comment, subscribe. Tell me what y'all think. Hit that notification bell and I'm out. One.